Haha, <laughs> of course, nothing's working. Hi, yeah, hey, everybody. Yeah, we're on. That's because I'm not on the right window so that it works. <laughs> Wait. Today it just be all about you. me eating a granola bar. <laughs> <laughs> that is our curious bites, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah, it seems like every time I try to uh, switch over, we lose the other girls. Which is a problem because now I can't do anything. <laughs> Just admit it, it's part of your master plan. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream that is just me. You are stuck with me. It is just me. So I do nobody all else. That's all right. I apologize in advance. You're stuck with me. Wait, no, we're gone again. <laughs> we're just, uh, we're the voices in your head that actually have a uh, volume today. We just pop up and say hey, and then we go away. Yeah. I wish I can actually the words. I wish I could <laughs> actually see my setup, but I can't. We can keep an eye on stuff in case things get, uh, you know. Caddy Wampus. Worst. <laughs> Let's just face it. All of this granola bar with chocolate is helping. Um, okay. Well, we're gonna try this out. And... Yeah, if you guys see any issues, let us know. Yeah. Any, any audio or video issues, please, please, please let us know. I switched up some of the encoding so that it will run smoother, hopefully. Um, cool. But apparently it broke other things. Which is <laughs> great. Perfect, actually. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Okay. Welcome, everyone. To another Curious Bites. <laughs> <laughs> um, where we discuss what's going on behind the scenes with us, share <laughs> weekly discoveries and distractions, answer some curious cues, and more. Today is Monday. It's a Monday. It is. Uh, November the 23rd, 2020. Mm. I know my dates and stuff. Is I'm that Rach. today's date? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good to know. <laughs> 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 yes. What are days? I am Rach, and I'm joined by all of the NC ladies, I think. Yeah. Maybe. All yeah. of them? All of them. What? All of them. Uh, <laughs> you mean I'm not the Shams, Ronnie, oh. and Jen. They are all here. What? And I'm, I'm kind of here. alive. We've been joined by brunette Jamie. Yeah, I'm not blonde anymore. <laughs> <laughs> how. Let's kick things off with what happened in our Curious Corner. We recorded a new episode of our official podcast that's on the list this weekend. This is the second installment of our mini-series where we are introducing some of our favorite things to each other. And our topic in this episode was art, suggested by our lovely Jamie Jams. Um, the episode will drop this Wednesday, so be sure to describe... To describe... To subscribe. <laughs> describe it also. That kind of day today. Subscribe to our podcast. Um, I'm going to get one of our mods to type exclamation point pod into the chat because I can't do it without losing all of my video feeds for some strange reason. Oh, twice. I, yeah. beat, I beat you, Ronnie. <laughs> it's a I'll race. I'll it to you, Jams. It's you a can, race. You can take, uh, you can, uh, take uh, Rachel's direction and do all that, <laughs> Uh So, okay. Last Thursday. For our latest live stream of Nerds R Us, we chatted with the wonderful Kavika of Aloha Pops about his upcoming debut of Pop Playtime Theater. Unfortunately, you know, gremlins. Um, the VOD for the chat was completely trashed, and apparently there was a massive issue with the chat as well, which was brought to my attention by Honey Bunches. So thank you, Honey Bunches, um, for letting me know what was going on. 
did some digging around. Not sure what exactly happened, but we apologize to Kavika and to everyone who was who dropped by the stream because apparently it was a mess. So we are really, really sorry. We will be inviting Kavika back in the new year, so please tune in for that. Um, and we will be dropping all of his links um, in the chat so you can follow his channel in anticipation for the debut of Pop Playtime Theater this December. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a week, guys. It was a week. Um, this Thursday, barring any further gremlins, at 5 p.m. Pacific. We will be joined by special guest voice actor and director, Jenny Yokobori, so please tune in for that. I'm super excited to sit down with Jenny. Fun. Um, last thing in our Curious Corner, this is just another reminder that we are a part of Team Nerds Unite for Extra Life to raise money in support of Children Miracle Network Hospitals. Our personal goal is to raise $500 for the BC Children's Hospital Foundation. We have reached our $400 milestone, um, thanks to Corey. So now we will be dressing up for our extra live stream, so you can tune in for that. Um, if you have the means, please give what you can. And if you're unable to give at this time, please be sure to share our donation page. Um, Jams, I'm going to get you to type in exclamation point, extra life and that will bring down our Extra Life um, donation progress bar. Um, as of this morning, the Team Nerds Unite uh, page has raised over $21,000 of our $25,000 goal. So thank you to all of the yes. donors. So thank you to all of the donors so far. There will be a special Extra Life Nerds Unite 24 hour stream this coming weekend. Um, Please follow uh, Sully. He will be um, sharing the schedule, who will be involved. Um, there will be a lot of giveaways, so be sure to tune in for that. Um, moving on to our What the Duck. Now, I had a different What the Duck planned for today, and mm -hmm. that kind of got sidetracked a little bit um, because of something that happened uh, yesterday. Um, one of our wonderful, wonderful streamers um, has decided that they will no longer be streaming because someone broke her trust. And this isn't the first time where we had to address someone in the Nerds Unite community either being bullied or being harassed in their, in, in their channel. And I hate that we have to actually even talk about this because we shouldn't have to feel uncomfortable when we're streaming because we are putting ourselves out there and it feels like time and time again that people are being unable to communicate when things are when there's something that's bothering us. And there is no point taking <sighs> Sorry, I just <laughs> I'm just still kind of mad right now. Yeah, um, you're, you're yeah. You're you're <laughs> you're holding it together real well. <laughs> um it's cuz it's still fresh. That's yeah. why. It's okay, take your time. I I guess at the end of the day, I want to say that if you have a problem with somebody, please talk to them about it. Don't go putting your nose in someone else's friendship and ruining someone else's friendship because you have a problem with a certain person. And I don't know why anyone would even want to attack the person that has decided that they feel not comfortable to stream. Because this person has been so kind and so welcoming and so wonderful and embodies the idea of what Nerds Unite stands for and the fact that she had to make this decision is so heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. It is unfair. And I don't want to have to bring this up again. There are so few 
women streamers in our in our small community. Right. And the fact that almost every single one of those people that we know has had some sort of bullying or harassment towards them is unacceptable. And if you see it happen, please stand up for them. I I like I just I, I just can't imagine this happening to, 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 to people that are just so open and welcoming and kind, and it just, it makes me angry. Well, they, they usually end up being the targets, just because they're quote-unquote easy targets by um, anyone who has ulterior motives, or... Um, and, and not to say I, I don't have firsthand accounts on anything that has gone on from a general perspective. We have been seeing it and this, this kind of encompasses an overall umbrella over just the situation of people not one, as Rach said, not being able to communicate or understand what, whatever it is that they're feeling that motivates why they decide to do whatever it is that they de decide to do. So people need to internalize and process their feelings better as far as to why am I holding animosity towards this person who is clearly doing nothing wrong. Two, this is an environment that's supposed to be fun and people are making themselves vulnerable in and of itself. It has taken us five years of doing what we do to do this. To get comfortable enough to put our faces out there as much as we are right now. If it's taken us that long, like, it, it just dependent on personality, too, it'll, and depending on how you're feeling on the day, too, because I, I, I can, like, I, I'd like to proudly say I would fight tooth and nail to stick to my guns, put dig my heels in, and refuse to feel to the point or let myself feel to the point where I need to leave. But there's also a point where you just get exhausted and you're like, well, you know, like, fuck it. And you just, you're just like, well, you know, forget it. I've got, I've got better things to do if, um, if I can't, you know, trust my audience or what have you. So, yeah, I mean, if, if you're calling yourself part of the community and you understand the staple and the foundation of said community revolves around Nerds Unite and revolves around... Um, basically everything that Sully started, that foundation, and if you're part of that circle, then you need to try to adapt that mentality and style into your day-to-day -day life, including how you talk to people virtually. So people just need to internalize and process their shit a little bit better. And I'm not, I'm not like putting it out on everybody. I'm, I'm just speaking generally because I'm, I have to do that too. Like we all have to do it as people. We have to, whenever you're feeling whatever it is that you're feeling, you need to take a step back and process why it is that you're feeling that you're, what you're feeling, and if that feeling is going to hurt somebody else, and if it's going to hurt somebody else, you really need to pause and ask yourself why you think that person deserves that. How you would feel if that, if somebody did that to you, and like, just generally, why do you feel you need to be messy? Clean that shit up. Life is way too fucking short. If anything, 2020 should be t should have taught us anything is that. So, hopefully we don't have to talk about it again, but you know we will. Because this is not going to stop. Mm -mm. I don't have rose-colored glasses on. I know shit's going to go down, but... It is what it is. We'll deal with it if you know if it if it ends up happening to us, we'll deal with it. I don't know, I'll deal with it. But <laughs> like and I will call people out. Y'all best believe if y'all act fools, give me a reason. Just give me a reason. But I love y'all. Y'all been great. I appreciate it. But I, I don't I don't want this to turn into if it gets foul or if like if somebody if one of us says something wrong or if we hurt somebody's feelings, tell us 
all of us are big enough to apologize or, you know, to address it directly and own up to it. If anything, we've all worked together to, to do that. Um, and we're happy to have a discussion about it. Um, at least I am, I know for sure. I'm happy to discuss it and I'm, I'm happy to, to accept when I'm wrong or whatever. But just address it with the individual versus taking it somewhere else. So, so yeah. Anyway. It's always better to just go to the person directly that you're having an issue with. Yes, yeah. it is a hard conversation. Mm -hmm. Are hard conversations easy to have? No, that's why they're labeled hard conversations. They're not pleasant. They're not meant to be pleasant conversations, but you can still have a decent conversation about whatever topic or issue that you have a problem with or you want to bring up with that person directly. I hate conflict. I'm not a big fan of conflict. Do I try to avoid it? Sure. Do I avoid all of it? No. I don't because that's impossible and stressful and really hard on a person mentally, emotionally, and physically. So if I have an issue with somebody, do I go to them directly first? No. Because I have to take stock of where I stand first. Mm -hmm. And everybody should do that. Shouldn't mm -hmm. just, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not perfect. There are times where I do react to a situation and I pause and I'm like, oh shit. Well, that wasn't great. But I still deal with it at the end. So if someone's like me who is sensitive when it comes to hard conversations and you don't want to have hard conversations, at some point you're just going to have to rip off that band-aid and have that conversation privately with that person first. And try to have it in a calm state. Because once those emotions jump in, that's it. You're not going to be listening to each other and hearing what that other person has to say. And you need to be open enough to hear what that other person has to say in order to move forward. Well, that's my two cents on it. Indeed. I think you guys have heard enough. Let's move on. Yep. Um, our curious cue of the week. Let's see if this actually works. Give me one second. So. Uh, the the cue is Kara of DC Comics, who asks, what is something that isn't a superpower, but feels like a superpower? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I mean, that is a great yeah. answer already. <laughs> yeah. My, uh, my ability to plan every insignificant detail to up to a year in advance. <laughs> <laughs> that is significant detail of life. Excellent. Super bad. <sighs> okay. Mine kind of is work related, but it is on the similar line as jams. It's knowing how to juggle my schedule to make all of my day vacation trips work <laughs> <That's laughs> pre-covid not post-covid pre-covid <laughs> y'all don't know how hard it is i give these ladies until july of this the current year to tell me which cons <laughs> i need dates i need to pop <laughs> off for the next year so that i can juggle my vacay hours <laughs> to make it all happen and plan which days i need to swap out and who i need to swap with <laughs> to make every single trip work that is a superpower that is my least favorite thing about your job yeah it is really really difficult to yeah do. <laughs> yeah 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 
These yeah. ladies have put up with me <laughs> for five long yeah. years of planning vacations, specifically vacations in relation to traveling to cons for five years because they all have to tell me a year and a half in advance which ones to go to. Yeah. Super inconvenient, Jen. It's, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It is it's it's above my pay grade. <laughs> I can't change it. <sighs> I genuinely don't know what my superpower is. That isn't actually a superpower. Jay says mobile ordering of your food. Yes. <laughs> because you actually have to decide what you want to get and what you want to eat. Mm-hmm. And then once you put that order in, it's too late to make changes. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> then you just have to spend more money. <laughs> you you have a very good BS detector, Ronnie. Yeah, I'll go with that. I'll That's go with a good that. one. Yeah, that is a good one. I'll go with that. I feel like having a really good BS detector is like the ultimate superpower. It's a it's a gift and a curse. <laughs> <laughs> a gift and a curse. Those are a that's usually how superpowers work. <laughs> And you're, and you're very good at speaking your mind and giving zero fucks. That's a gift and a curse, too. <laughs> <laughs> With great power uh, comes great responsibility. <laughs> I mean, as I say, I, I speak with conviction, but if I'm wrong, I will apologize for it. <laughs> hey, that's um, taking the higher road, so that's actually, like, elevating your superpower, so... I was thinking about it the other day, especially like uh, after the other day. It was earlier today. Um, <laughs> Time and stuff. I don't know what day okay. I'm living I in anymore, guys. I don't know what day it is today. Yeah. Where are um, <laughs> The uh, I was thinking earlier today, uh, especially after the conversation we all had last night. Um, I like to be I like to be proven wrong. Like I I really really enjoy and I feel like I respect people that prove me wrong or people that surprise me. Like I, I live for that shit. I, I would rather be wrong about something. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, I'm a weirdo. <laughs> it's okay. That's what we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to our discoveries and distractions. Let me pull up the first one oh, yeah, so first? jams we will start with you oh yay Which one is <laughs> oh yes oh yeah i forgot about that one <laughs> so my <laughs> we've Wait, been really distracted this week guys oh, very distracted my ears. yeah no this one wasn't really scary jen it's okay okay so i watched the movie Run on Hulu starring Sarah Paulson and it was really really good like y'all need to watch it it's it's a drama thriller type of movie Mm -hmm. and it's about a a mom that goes to great lengths to keep her daughter with and yeah so definitely check it out. Sarah Paulson is really good, and the girl that plays her daughter is also really, really good. So, codependency so issues? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, honey bud, because I appreciate the support. Yeah, that's a hard pass for me. Mm-mm. Nope. Ain't going there. So, this one um, kind of goes with my next... D&D. This um, is the independent singing duo called Neoni. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. But they did a cover of Carry On Wayward Son about two years ago. And the fans have since been demanding that uh, this, their cover be used in Supernatural at some point, And it was actually featured in the series finale. So that was that was really cool. I'm very happy for them. And it is a beautiful cover. So, And they have a lot of other really good covers on their channel on YouTube as well. So definitely check them out. It's spelled N-E-O-N-I. So, yeah, give them a listen. Yes. 
Yeah, when Jam sent me the link and I took a listen, I'm like, whoa, these these girls can sing. Yeah, it's very haunting. And Oh yeah, I put, I put up my Christmas decorations. <laughs> yes! Because <laughs> I couldn't hold it back anymore. <laughs> Everybody, I did the exact yeah. same thing this weekend. <laughs> Everybody's it's, putting up their Christmas decorations early this year, and I think it's because yeah. 2020 has been such a crap year. People just yeah. want to feel joy, so if it's not your yeah. thing, don't shit all over other people wanting to do it. Just let them have their thing. Don't be a dick. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So I'm go still holding out. <laughs> Okay. And, and that's your prerogative, so right? That's has your got prerogative. Christmas decorations covered. <laughs> that is my prerogative. It's my prerogative not to have Christmas in my house. The outside of my house is a completely different story. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, I guess my my supernatural pick isn't on there, but um, I was gonna bring bring up the uh, the supernatural series finale. Go back, Rach. Oh, mm -hmm. oh go on, back on, to the on, Wayward Sun cover and the Jabs can talk her. Talk about the the series finale bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. almost. There we go. There we go. Okay, go ahead, Jen. Wow, there's like a full like okay. five second delay. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's all good. All right. So yeah, this. What the, the hell? It just okay. It's it has mind of its own, oh. guys. That's okay. <laughs> Just, it's okay. Time she, can talk, she can talk about it without it. That's fine. I'll just yeah, use the fine. girls. So, yes. The Supernatural series finale. Not season finale. Series finale. And I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, though I could talk about it, and I really would love to talk to somebody about it to put in my two cents, because I have feelings. <laughs> They're there. <laughs> but not only the spoilers, but if I was to start talking about it, it would probably take up the rest of our time. But I will okay. say I was very, very emotional. I ugly cried at least three times. It wasn't perfect, but it was at the same time. It was it was a great way to end out the series. Like last week, after how how awesome of an ending that episode was. I was like, what can they possibly do beyond this to wrap up this series? And they did it. Mm -hmm. But you have to remember that the last two episodes of the show were shot post COVID. So they had a lot of, um, you know, they had a lot to deal with. So they weren't able to do certain things that they wanted to do, I'm sure, but they still made it work. Mm -hmm. And I'm I was very satisfied with the ending. God damn them! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, fifteen years is a long a time. Long like, it's a long yeah. time for a show. Like they, for for a show to be on for that long, and to have um, fan retention for that long is an amazing feat. So props mm -hmm. to Supernatural. I mean. You know, they've been in, in mine and Rachel's backyard for the past 15 years. So. <laughs> yeah. And a, a, and a rabid fan base at that. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but... so when Jazz was like, the fans have been demanding, in my head I was thinking, were they demanding or were they demanding? <laughs> so, you know, for a combo you know. of the two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think, Jams, I think you and, and Fox should probably talk about like you guys should do an episode talking on about it. it. Yeah. If we can, yeah, we can, we can have both of y'all talking about it, like, on the show. Mm -hmm. Just do an, a dedicated episode for yeah. it. Any Supernatural fans can come on and... Um, hop in. Well, we'll invite in Dave. Yeah. And, yeah. I would like... Yeah. Hey. We'll, we'll put that add on the calendar. Add that to the list, ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the never-ending list. never-ending list. So Jen is up next with her D&Ds. What? You mean I'm not a pixel anymore? <gasps> oh, <wait. laughs> okay, so yes. Um, I, I I have a bit of a love for um, 
ancient Egypt and Egyptology. No thanks to my seventh grade teacher. She, instead of doing like one unit on ancient Egypt, she ended up doing like two units worth. So, <laughs> um, because of her, I have a love for any basically all the Nat Geo documentaries. <laughs> Okay. On ancient Egypt, because uh, it's just so fascinating to me, just um, of of like going into a tomb, discovering uh, sarcophagi, sarcophagus, yes. whatever. Sarcophagi. The is. I can't like, help you. It's Monday. Sarcophagi. My brain is like. <laughs> it's what? okay. It's also my day off today, so my brain has not been functioning at all. <laughs> Um, but anyways, uh, Netflix released this documentary, Secrets of the Saqqara Tomb. Um, they released it uh, at the end of last month. Um, and it is fantastic. It's a uh, just shy of two hours. Uh, so it's on the longer side of most uh, Nat Geo docu- as uh, more, most Nat Geo documentaries are because those are usually about an hour. Mm-hmm. to fit their TV show time slot but this is I think an hour and 57 minutes or something like that so um, I personally think that this one is the best ancient Egypt documentary that I've seen mm-hmm. so far um, and it and it's all in the second half of the show they, uh, they it's an all Egyptian uh, anthropology dig team Mm-hmm. and archaeology team and um and the best part is where they discover i'll say this much so when they discover some of the bones they bring on um an anthropologist and the way that she just handles all the bones it very much reminds me of um the tv show bones <laughs> so hence <laughs> The, the way she, she the way that she holds the bones and she just talks about it is because it is a female anthropologist and there's not many female anthropologists out there right. so I I liked that um, they had her on for the second half of the program and uh, it just kind of gave more of a humanity to the dig than just the usual like oh my god there's like a bunch of male archaeologists who are discovered a tomb and they're gonna like find all these mummies etc etc like this one has more heart to it so that's what I recommend if you are into that thing check out Secrets of the Saqqara Tomb it's very good it's very good and there are subtitles in it because they because it is an all Egyptian team so some of them don't speak English Mm -hmm. just FYI if you do end up watching it there are subtitles that you have to read Cool. Unless you speak Egyptian. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> or Arabic. Um, my second D&D, uh, y'all know I love music. And uh, no thanks to Songland. I kind of went on a One Republic rediscovery, kind of. I used to listen to them all the time, like way back in the day. And um, lately, I'm like, I basically rediscovered my love for One Republic and specifically Ryan Tedder's style, like songwriting style and the way he produces songs. Like, dude, you get me. Yeah, so this one is called Wanted um, and it is the, the string mix. So basically he had the string section of the Colorado Symphony Orchestra play the the music track while he sings the song and it is gorgeous a gorgeous 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 rendition of the song and wanted is um a song that's basically about feeling wanted feeling to feel that you are genuinely needed and it's just a great it's a great song great message overall I'm like yes you understand where I'm coming from yes right <laughs> yes yes all right and my third and final D&D is um, from Spider-Man's Miles Morales the PS4 PS5 video game I don't personally game a whole lot that's more Jamie Chance's 
area jam. expertise. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Jams is jam. <laughs> yeah, Jamie Jams is jam. We should just yeah. We just that yeah 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 yeah. So um, but I was pleasantly surprised because I follow a few um deaf actresses on social media, and um, one of the ladies that I follow, uh, Rosalie Tim, yes, Rosa posted it. Um, she shared this on her social media where. Um, they revealed that one of the characters in the game Haley, is deaf. And so um, Miles Morales starts signing to her and there's like a little clip of, her, of them signing to each other. And I thought that was really cool to include um, other languages and um, people who are quote unquote different right. than us like it gives diversity to the game mm -hmm. um and then to, and then so i did a little bit of research and i found out that the actress who portrays the character of Haley in the game she is a deaf actress herself cool so they did so all the signing in there is authentic signing it's like authentic asl the syntax is authentic because you have a native speaker of that language doing it and the cgi for the whole signing thing like my cousin is a vfx artist so he had to do some of like the cgi for american Sign Language for a different show um on netflix and it's not easy to cgi hand movement right. and fine hand movement at that takes a lot of time so props to the cgi team for doing all that in the first place and props to um i believe it was was it insomniac games i think is the developer my brain shot guys sorry but um yeah props to the developer of the game uh for including a deaf actor actress to like actually like, do all the signing for them and be like this is how it should be right. done yeah so props and then the actress is oh gosh I don't know who, hang on I can look it up she's really cool actually she can speak and, and she signs obviously but she can actually speak and her speaking voice is very good cool what I really liked about the scene was that they weren't trying to shove any kind of agenda in anyone's faces. It wasn't no. like diversity. It was so natural that it felt yeah, authentic. Yeah, it was so natural. Yeah. Her name is Natasha Ophili, and I I did tweet her when I saw, and I was like, I love, I just said to her, I tweeted, love this, and she liked it right back, and I'm like, oh my god, yay. But um, she... She's, she seems like a cool cat, and she's been in quite a few um, productions, according to our IMDb page. So check her out. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. And those are my D and Ds for this week. Nice. 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 Those are really good D and Ds too. Relevant. They are. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Oh, I'm next. Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have been on a huge West Wing kick pretty much since the day after the election. I started watching it. And I, I had it on my list of things to do, but after election day, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to rewatch this shit. And I remember watching um, a, a bit of it when it was on, but I mean, but the show was on like back in 99, and now that it's all on Netflix, um, I missed out on a lot, so... And, and you know, plus me being young back in the day, it just it didn't I didn't connect with it as much as uh, now. And uh, watching it, and I've and I've been watching it, guys, because like it, the election wasn't that long ago, and I'm already on like season five, and there's like seven seasons. So, um, but I, but I've had it, I've had it on in the background while I'm doing stuff too. So that 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 kind of helps with it going a little bit faster. But. Um, this show holds up. There, there's been a few things that, like, the characters say that you're just like, mm, that doesn't really stand anymore. That's like, mm. not, that's kind of inappropriate, but, um, but not too much of it. 
Um, but for, for the most part, like all the politics and stuff, I didn't have one of those moments where it's just like, have we really moved? We haven't really moved all that much forward, have we? <laughs> it's all the <laughs> same shit that we've been going through. It feels like we haven't learned much. But, um, but yeah, so it's on Netflix, guys. I, I highly recommend, um, I, depending on how you feel about Sorkin. I'm, I'm a fan of Sorkin. Uh, but some people think he's too wordy. I dig the words. So, um, so words. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Highly recommend. Um, I'm not sure if it's true or not, but I did see that Netflix most likely will be pulling the West Wing from U.S. Netflix by Christmas. So please, if you want to watch it, get it in there <laughs> while you can. We don't actually have it available in Canada, so... You're gonna have to find yeah. it elsewhere. Really get it in there, because I don't know if you're gonna get through seven seasons in like a month. <laughs> but good luck to you if you did. Anything is possible. <laughs> I suppose. You haven't you haven't finished with Rich and I. <laughs> <laughs> hey, another one of your superpowers. There you go. <laughs> Indeed. Being able to to binge watch things. Um. Okay. I think my computer has froze. Has it? Oh, well, I can still talk about my next one. There oh, we go. What? What? It worked. Oh. Did Just it? Just give it, give it a second. <laughs> okay, because yeah, I see, it's I see thinking about it. I see I'll nothing. Worry. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay. Um. There we go. <laughs> There's a delay. All right. So, um, travel, guys. So I think last week's D and D. Um, one of my D and Ds was a uh, New Orleans, a New Orleans video that actually Rachel found for me. Um, that she sent, and it immediately made me pine for New Orleans. Uh, this time around, I happened upon this myself uh, from another friend of mine who shared it on Twitter because it's ridiculously gorgeous. Um, I have never wanted to go to Wales more in my life. <laughs> and then after <laughs> watching this video. I, I've always known Wales is a gorgeous country, but I've never really thought about it. And then this video happened upon me, and there we go. Now I need to go to Wales. Um, so yeah, uh, travel and stuff. I miss it. I can't wait to get back to it. As soon as I can, y'all will not see me for a while. <laughs> <laughs> not sure, but I wish it was. <laughs> I don't blame you. I I, I um, feel the bug, the itch. <laughs> Why do you think I started watching ancient Egypt videos again? Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Right. Um, Ronnie's bonus. What am I looking at? You're looking at the, the, oh, the gorgeousness yes. that is Michael B. Jordan. Well. Okay. Um... Michael B. So, <laughs> sexiest man, right? <laughs> Do we really need to say more? Um, except for the fact that, I mean, he, not only is he a, a gorgeous, beautiful man, but in, in, in the spirits of uh, t making 2020 better, he is also a fantastic human being, as it seems. And so him taking uh, quite a bit of inspiration from uh, his relationship with Chadwick and um, quite a few other people that he has, that he feels he's been influenced by. The whole point is, you know, what kind of an impact you can have and what kind of a difference you can make while you're here. Technically, we should all be thinking about that. But again, tis 2020. I feel like that's one of the things that everyone has been, has had to take pause and take stock. Um, and there's nothing wrong if you haven't. And if you haven't had a eureka moment where you're like, I feel called or compelled to do something. Maybe you just needed to take a break <laughs> because you've been on the go for most of your life. That's all fine too. But if you are called then to do something, then um, you know, be, feel inspired and be inspired and find the people who inspire you to, to take steps to get whatever it is that you feel you're called to do. Um, and, and move towards it. Uh, so I, I, Michael B. 
kind of embodies that for me. I haven't, I, have, I honestly, in, in full honesty, full disclosure, I have not thought about the man in a while because I've been like preoccupied by somebody else. But um, him having gotten the cover and having gotten the title and like listening to the interview and, and stuff, like he's, he's a good cat. And he's absolutely gorgeous. So um, shout out to, to Michael B. Continue being you and being beautiful. Um, that's 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 my extra. So. He's beautiful inside and out. So that 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 really that really mm-hmm. makes a difference, I think. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. My first discovery distraction. If it will load. Any day now. BTS. Right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! BTS related. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I thought you were joking. <laughs> How did I know? <laughs> Janine seems to always miss at every single D and D that I do that doesn't involve BTS. But when she's here, so apparently I have to bring them up <laughs> just for her. So you can blame Jen, guys. Um. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm not a pickle today. BTS. <laughs> Yay! I'm so excited. Um, so they released their newest album, B, and that dropped last week. In true BTS fashion, every single track on that album charted on the top of the iTunes charts. Um, the album has like a very calm, soothing vibe. They talk a lot about their personal experience working through the pandemic and um, not being able to tour and meet their fans. So it's very much a album that they created as a love letter to their fans. Um, so the first half is very like soothing and, and, and relaxing. And then the second half is a retro pop dance kind of vibe to it. Um, my personal favorites off the album are Blue and Gray and Telepathy, which are the two songs that are like at the most opposite sides of the spectrum where one's very introspective and the other is very like I actually the song reminds me of um, Top Loader's Dancing in the Moonlight so it has that kind of retro feel to it um, they also released the music video for their latest single off of the album called Life Goes On which is, uh, you see a screen cap on your screens right now and it was actually directed by one of the band members Jungkook um, it's his first time directing and the album itself um the the boys were actually very much involved in um every aspect of the production of this album so the songwriting the producing the um album artwork um the direction of the videos um the styling and like they had their hand in every aspect of the album which is the first for them so it's a very personal album it's very wonderful i highly recommend you checking it out it's called b b my second D and D. Delay, delay, delay. Distraction words and stuff. Da, 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 hey James, da. is your is your feed uh, frozen at all? It's a little choppy. Okay, yeah, it's, it's frozen pretty bad um, a couple of times already, and I'm I'm pretty sure that these people have not heard like maybe two or three things that we've talked about. Oh no! Hmm. But I'm hoping that's not the case. Can you guys confirm or deny? I'm gonna have to figure out my ch- a my chat has been stuck on um, me sending the wave emoji. Oh, I see Jams's comment. Can we get confirmation yeah, just... from everybody else if there's issues with the video or audio? Yeah, that's what we're... We're waiting on. Still waiting. In the meantime, Jay says, Ancient Aliens, as a comment. No, dude. And... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was in reference to the Ancient Egypt documentary series. It's not a series, documentary on Netflix. That was another option that did pop up after I watched Secrets of the Sakop Tune. Okay. Honey Bunches says some screens froze but audio is excellent. excellent. All All right. Right. As long as so you can still you hear us. If you can hear us. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. Yes, Christina Grimmy. Um, okay, yeah. So my second D&D is a rediscovery. 
Um, Sam Sam Shui uh, shared the tenth anniversary of himself, Kurt Schneider, and the late Kristen McRumey's cover of Nelly's "Just a Dream." I cannot believe this video is ten years old already. Um, this was my introduction to the three of them. Um, so if you haven't checked out Kurt's um, channel, he makes amazing music video covers. Um, not only that, he produces these arrangements that are just so out of the box and so magical and wonderful, and he is extremely talented. Um, and please also check out Sam and Christina's music. Um, it still really hurts talking about Christina, um, but her music is just and her talent is just out of so world, good so so good yeah yeah and this this music video just like kind of like kick-started my love for the three of them and um so yeah please check them out cool and my bonus if it will load mm, thinking about it <laughs> about it, yeah. I, I wish I had like a yes, 10 years and yes <laughs> we feel old too <laughs> if you feel old <laughs> I mean they they were just children when I first like was introduced to them and like Sam's married and Kurt's getting married and it's just it's unreal I think it my computer unreal. has frozen this is lovely has it? It very well could be, because it doesn't change anything yet on my end. Oh, there it is. Oh, hang on. Okay. Just wait. Wait, folks. <laughs> I'll <look it> up soon. <laughs> I apologize to everyone who's joined us. We will figure out. I, I ran a test this morning, and it seemed to be working better than Thursday, and I guess it is not fixed. So um, I will do some investigations, and hopefully things will things will be better. Um, my bonus D&D is Animaniacs okay. related. Yeah, your audio um, just crapped out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Hello. Is it better now? No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. You're, you're good, good now. You're good. Keep going. Keep going. Um, yeah, yeah, my yeah, bonus D&D is good. Animaniacs. The show is back. Sadly for me and Jen, the show is only available on Hulu. I caught a few snippets being shared on social media. It looks no. fantastic. It's super, super funny. Um, there is this really great uh, clip from the first episode where they did the style of Animaniacs in an anime sequence, which I thought was hilarious. Some of the animators actually tweeted out um, storyboards prior to the final animation, so it, that was that was cool. This video is from a meteorologist who paid tribute to Yakko's world and did her own rendition of the song, complete with the day's weather for all the countries mentioned. She did an excellent job. Please check her out. Um, you can find all of these D&Ds in our amazing newsletter brought to you by Ronnie. Um, and we will send all of our uh, discoveries and distractions into your inbox. We will drop a link into the chat for you to subscribe. And if you're watching this on our YouTube archive, hello. The link to subscribe will be down in the description box below. Uh, Jamie Jams, if you can type in exclamation point news, that will give everyone a chance to subscribe to the newsletter. And please subscribe because Ronnie works really, really hard on these newsletters. I should you don't, you really don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> You're part of the game. <laughs> I'm good? Um, Sweet. <laughs> yeah, subscription or death, guys. You know, you choose. <laughs> As our dear Shannon would likes to say. I chose subscription. I chose subscription as well. I always choose subscription. All right, so finally. <laughs> you are I'm exempt. exempt. You're exempt. <laughs> every time can... I go in to count our subscribers, I have to subtract all the NC people. <laughs> <laughs> Video frozen, sending vibes so that it will actually work. That's oh, look, okay. it's us. Okay. So finally, our spotlight shout outs. I would like to give a spotlight shout out to. Tamar, aka Magic Carpet Ride, Steven, aka Your Miscreant, and Boston, aka Oh My Gatos. All three of them did 24 hour streams in support of Extra Life. 24 hours, guys. 
I couldn't yeah, stay no. awake for a lot of it, but Legit. I did drop in and um, watched everyone shower love and support and bids and subscriptions and donations to the kids because this is what it's all about. Um, the three of them you raised them a shower. That's what, what I heard. <laughs> That's you, she watched with. people shower them with. <laughs> oh, wow. <dear. laughs> the two J. The two uh, okay, the clearly J squared were in the same mind frame. Clearly. <laughs> tisk, 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 tisk. I mean, normally I'm all about that, but. <laughs> This is for the children, guys. This is for the children. Yeah. Stop making this like, weird. What? Like, Stop making like, this did weird. I do that right? Um, Boston actually reached his two thousand dollar milestone, so his lovely wife hey. Andrea shaved his head on <gasps> stream. Wow! Yeah. Yay. And Congrats, Boston. And if you if we if we manage to raise three thousand, he will shave his signature mustache. For the kids, Ooh. so please donate to all to everyone who's involved in the Nerds Unite team. Um, again, we are going to be um, doing a twenty-four hour uh, stream. Not just one streamer, but Sully will be organizing a bunch of people. Um, there will be a lot of giveaways, so please, please follow um, Sully on Twitch and on uh, Twitter, where he will be announcing all of. The information regarding that stream. Um, also, please give a follow to Magic Carpet Ride, Your Miscreant, and Oh My Gatos. They are amazing, amazing people. Very, very generous. Wonderful, wonderful guys. Um, do you ladies have any spotlights that you would like to give? Mm. I can't think of any right now. Mm -mm. Okay. Yeah. I have a second Ooh. one. <laughs> Do you? Wait, hold yes. on. Thank you, Santa Claus, for bringing the Christmas tree back for another year. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was a good show. That's a good answer. <laughs> I like okay, it. Rachel, you can say your second one. Um, my... <laughs> You're awesome. My, did you, my... Did you break her? Quite possibly. My, my second spotlight. Um, I actually tweeted out a couple days ago. Um, our first ten uh, entries in the directory of the badass lady streamers that are a part of our viewing schedules. Um... Please take a look at that. There are some amazing uh, women streamers. There aren't many of us in this particular um, community that we are in, so we are always looking to find um, more Lego builders and gamers and artists. Um, there is so much great content out there, and we just wanted to put a spotlight on the wonderful ladies in our community. So, mm -hmm. to to the lady streamers, we support you. We love you. Keep on trucking. I don't know why yep. I just said that, but okay. Keep, well, it's <laughs> relevant. Keep keep, on, keep on trucking and don't let um don't let the man bring you down. <laughs> <laughs> we are here to sense. support you, um, because we have been so well supported by by everyone in this wonderful community. We haven't been in this particular community for very long, even though we have had the blog for over five years. Um, Twitch is a very new venture for us. We were very apprehensive going into it, but because of the people around us, we felt very uh, welcomed and supported and loved. So thank you to everyone who has donated any bits or subscribed to our channel or gifted any subs. That is like above and beyond all of our expectations, and so we really, really appreciate everybody just being here. Um, so yeah, we've been lucky. We have been, and we're not going to take that for granted. So no, that's a wrap on this Curious Bites. Thank you to everyone who joined. Sorry about the gremlins. We will do our best to make sure that next week is better. Um, we are at Nerdy Curious all over the damn place. 
but mostly on Twitter. Please stick with us. We are going to raid someone. Our hashtag is hashtag curious raid. I know it's not original, but it is ours. Um, and if you happen to be a subscriber, you can drop those monocle emotes. Yay! Um, let's see I if I can. Lions on you. Yeah. Let's see if I can actually raid, raid somebody. Raid, 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 raid. Oh yeah, because of the the <laughs> of the gremlins. The, the, gr the gremlins. The gremlins. Um. Yeah. I adore Ryan. We did rate him a couple of times already, um, mm -hmm. but uh, in in honor of the badass ladies that we like to follow, um, one of my uh -huh. favorite musicians, Kina Granis, is actually streaming right now. So I think we're going to kick things over to her. Um, sure. If you are not familiar with her, uh, she got her start on YouTube and she now has her own record label that is funded by her fans. Um, so please tune in to her channel, give her a follow. She does have the best raid jingle of any streamer that I know. Um, and she sings it with her guitar and it is very, very cute. Um, so hopefully when we, we raid her, she'll be able to take some time out of her stream to perform her raid jingle. So, let's raid Kina. Nice. Raid, 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 raid. Seems raid, like our connection raid, is a little bit better at the moment. Ooh, how many? <laughs> Ten viewers! Yes! So again, our okay, hashtag... Guys, our hashtag is... Hashtag Curious Raid. Um, our next stream will be this Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific with our special guest, Jenny. Until then, please remember to wear a mask if you go out. Um, happy Thanksgiving to our uh, all of our American friends. Oh, um, indeed. If, you could, if, if it's possible, please stay at home. Um, please yes, protect, please. protect your, your, your family members and your friends. Just one year, guys. Yes. Um, can do it. Like Ronnie said, do don't it. be a dick. And as always, stay curious. Bye, everybody. Bye. I can't seem to raid because everything is frozen on my end. So we're going to have to wait it out. This is a Filipino goodbye. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a couple seconds. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> we can just uh, stare awkwardly at each other. It's fine. Because it's on brand. <laughs> I mean, it's the only way, really. It's only a few seconds, it's fine. Truly. Da, 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 da. Oh! oh my oh, god. My god. <laughs> wow. That's my dog. The dog agrees. <laughs> wow. All right. That was that was quite the outro. <laughs> and we're out. We are out. We are out. It's okay, Ember already gave us the ending that we deserve.